Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Um, I had a great question from one of my subscribers via my uh, Twitter account. Um, I want, he's playing in a, in a group, it sounds, with a friend and the person has commented on their timing. And so I don't really know what that means. So I hear this a lot and as a golf coach and I'd imagine if you speak to golf coaches around uh, people bring timing up a lot. It's kind of commented on a lot and if they're not talking about timing they'll talk about sort of the pace of the swing. Make comments like well you're just trying to hit it too hard and that's the reason you're struggling. So whenever I, I hear these comments from sort of an amateur saying it to another amateur it tends, in my opinion, it tends to be a sequencing issue. So think about it logically. I swing the golf club quicker than you probably. I mean, if you're a big dog out there, God, don't comment, you'll make me feel bad. But let's assume, I mean, I'm swinging the golf club quicker than you. If you are trying to get playing and hitting the ball like I am, trying to slow down, surely that's going to be counterproductive. It's going to make the gap bigger between yourself and me. So it can't, in theory, be, well, you're just swinging it too quick. But what happens if you're sequencing is out, so let's say your lower body doesn't move and your upper body moves, um, it will all look a bit disconnected, it will all look a bit of a mess. So as it doesn't look that great, the comment you will get is, oh, it looks like your timing is off. Or it looks, it looks like you're swinging it too quick. So the timing comment isn't, isn't incorrect, but you have to think about how can I match that into my sequencing. So in the golf swing, I want the lower body to move first. That will pull on the sort of the torso and then that will pull the arms and get the hands involved. So it's looking at, it's looking at that. So just slowing it down. If, if there's a problem with it, you're not solving the problem at all by slowing down. Um, in some cases, and um, I, I gave a lesson a couple days ago, slowing down can even make it worse. Because if you're a bit sloppy and things are moving at the different paces, you actually remove any sort of last gas attempt to kind of square the club. So again, it can actually be a really detrimental thing to do is, is by slowing down. Um, again, it, it depends on what the problem is. So if you've got high hands, maybe being smooth in transition might help. But it, it's being smooth here, allowing your lower body to kind of move and get this more into a position where you can then unleash it rather than just going, I just want to get really slow. So if you get slow, you might just drop it behind you and can't even hit it. So again, good, good question this one because you hear it a lot. So if people are saying comments like that, you're swinging too fast, you've got a timing issue, I would look a bit deeper into your swing and actually go, well, what, why are they making that comment? Some, something must be moving at a rate or out of sequence that's making them think that doesn't look right. But I would be very surprised if just slowing down is going to answer all of, or solve all of your problems. But uh, if you're somebody that has uh, struggled with this, because you mean I could make thousands of videos on this topic. This is very much an overview and just to try and get you thinking and actually go, yes, I've, I've been told that, but why have I been told that? I mean, that? That's kind of the point of this video, more so giving you all the answers because it's a very broad topic. I mean, sequencing can be quite complicated and trying to answer all of these questions in this video would be counterproductive because it would just confuse. But uh, if you're somebody that's had those sort of comments made to you, do mean let me know. I'd love, to, I'd love to hear what they've been saying. And if you're somebody that's then like gone for a lesson or has tried to work it out themselves, how, how did you find the changes and did just slowing down help? Did it help a little bit but then you worked on something else? Again, it would be great to hear kind of what you've been doing to improve your golf because uh, like I say, this is a broad topic and a topic that affects a lot of people. I hope to catch you soon.